warning, this video contains graphic images that may not be suitable for little sissy bitches. So, your discretion is advised. We kill shit here. What's up guys? We are back at Beaver Swamp, first check. So quiet and peaceful. We are gonna go see what we got. It's such a silty, anyone been around swamps, it's so silty. You could squish in or sink anywhere. One minute it's like, oh this ain't bad, it can walk across here then. So I'll get my waders on and we'll see if we got anything. Stay tuned guys. We'll start over here at the 330 Condobar and work our way that way. Uh, I guess actually we'll start right here. This one crossover. Why is there so much water here? Uh, eh, nothing there. I really thought I'd get somebody going across that. I honestly don't know how I haven't caught something there. Oh, I got, I got something here. In a 330. Where was it going? Well, oh, that's why there's so much water. I got it dammed up now. No, that's not. No, well, he's dead. Going that way. Leaving, so he missed that trap somehow. Little feller. Freaking moss buildup. There's our grass that we used to fence it off. Unless the farmer will be happy about. This is just a cattle farm. Beavers are ruining the some ponds by plugging tubes. So we're just thinning them down. Freaking moss. <clears throat> Little dude. Probably a bunch of those. Get our backs reset here. <clears throat> One thing about these, these are some stiff traps here. So I've had the spring, or the uh, trigger pointing up. Make sure it's legal in your state. I can use 330s here for beaver, and we can have them halfway, basically halfway out of the water. So let's get this debris out of here so we don't catch it all again. It probably build against that trigger. We can go. Bring this this way. There we go. We'll stop our water flowing out. We can go with the eyes right there. These are the eyes, what they call the eyes. They could be Make sure that the water doesn't go down and oh there we go right there that's perfect safety's off should be about where I was to begin with I'm just taking this stuff putting it in the Spring eyes here. <clears throat> these little these little beavers especially pretty easy to catch in a set like this. 
they don't know no different. They've been crossing this over and over. They don't know. That's dangerous. They see this easy way through right there and they take it. That's all it is. You can't see the trigger, so it's just a perfect little way through for them. Covered in moss. So that one should connect. I'll put this guy right next to this tree. <coughs> I put it down so it wouldn't connect with the raccoon, but I am going to move it up some. Let's try that now. If that beaver got around it some, but he could crawl anywhere. I'll leave that guy there. We'll go upstream here. Something must have pulled the drowned wreck. See a catch circle. <sighs> Not supposed to be a catch circle. Oh, I see its claws right there. He got on the bank. I don't know what he must have decided to. He got tangled up under there. That's what got him tree root got him. He got tangled up in this root. That's a that's a stud beaver there. Wow. The root got him. He should have chewed the root out. <laughs> tangled up by a root. Well, I'm lucky he didn't take off with my whole setup here. This is where that bottom's really hard. Front foot catch. <clears throat> Come on. This was a blind set. And this little channel here, I should have probably put a... <clears throat> That's a good one. Big old tail on it. Chubby old sucker. We'll just keep putting her back in there. It's deep enough. It's just for some reason. Very hard to get it in the ground here. I don't know how he pulled that out. Because I could barely get it in there. Put a little bend on it. <clears throat> Pin it around that corner. <sighs> Workout. Okay, so we got that nice, a nice bend around this corner here. I think you guys can see that, I hope. She's in solid on both ends. So we put our trap up here in a bed, right where it gets really narrow here. So the end of our pole is there and our trap is going to be right in this bed I just made. You're gonna step down on it. They're traveling this creek, a little ditch they made here. They channeled this out. They kind of stay low from predators. They make a lot of stuff like this. You'll see it from one pond to another a lot of times. They'll have a, just a little channel. Keeps them low and that's, uh, that's that mud there is some tough shit. 
Oh, we got a big beaver here. Big old tail. Full casters. We'll take it. Whew. All right, we got another set here on the crossover. Oh, yeah, I see a beaver right there. So muddy. I don't even see my drowners buried in the silt. Uh, raccoon tracks. Oh! Oh, there we go. That long mistake. So covered. Look at him, he's covered. That's a pretty good sized one, too. He's so gross. They're so gross in this shit. Well, that's pretty good. Three of them? I'll blow this freaker up. I think I could cut this tree out with a chainsaw. Put a bunch of tannerite right there. <laughs> and say kapui. What do you guys think about that? Blow that sucker to smithereens. That's what I'm thinking about doing. All right, well, as you can see, these are all blind sets. Caster mount set. I already checked on that other farm. It had a, each, both caster mounts had a rat can, so I don't know how long I'm gonna trap that farm. So, we're not after raccoons. I try to stay away from them, but they do need thinned down. But I don't really want to mess with the raccoons. I'd rather catch beaver. Okay. So, we're putting this back where we had it. Take some of this mud. Plenty deep enough down there to drown them, so. Right here is where they're going in and out. They're going straight up that, so that's where we're gonna be. Cover up our rebar just to just to kind of camouflage it a little bit. They're not too worried about it. Make sure everything goes underwater when you stand up. And we're ready for another one. There's three beaver right there. <laughs> Good thing I can't have to carry too far. Just like put them right here and get them with the ranger. Well, there's the beavers from this little spot here. I'm gonna, I got a caster mound down that way. And I need to go up here and find a spot for another caster mound. There's no real good spot on the dam. I don't really want to mess with it. I just need to get a, another set or two up on that side. But it's a beautiful place though. All right guys, moving along, stay tuned. All right guys, so I come over here and I'm like, I need to find somewhere close to the dam. The dam's right there, straight walls, pretty straight walls here. I see, I see their access route is probably right here based on that down tree. They might go through over there somewhere, but they're basically gonna be skirting right here. And this looked like a really good spot right here for a big old caster mound. We got coon though. But that's the best looking spot. It's all straight up banks. So we're gonna put one right here. And we got chewing, so. That shows me that they're come here. 
Put it right here. <clears throat> oh. Oh, nice bend in this one. <clears throat> I don't know if I've ever seen one bend before. Should still go down. Bend in that. That's kind of great. <laughs> Should go down it. Oh yeah. Okay. So I want to put it right here. sunken down some more. I don't like it up that high. Our trap there. Oh yeah. Now get some mud here. Oh, there's plenty of good mud here. I'm gonna slick this off. Should have worn my gloves, but I didn't. They're over there in the ranger. <laughs> We're just making this all look suspect. There's our trap. That shows me they're like, huh? Somebody's in our territory. So. Like I say, we want something that's gonna project right here that'll get their attention. Put some of my beaver, beaver lure on there. Oh yeah, that's gonna be, that's all I'll need for the rest of the season. It'll run down through there. I can already smell it. We can keep the raccoons out of it. good looking spot a lot of you guys want to see how why we come up with it the only thing over here is on the is right on top of the dam but I want to try to get away from that a little bit those raccoons are traveling right on that thing like there's a highway across it so this would be perfect and there over here if I can get there without falling in the deep hole Oh boy, this is deep. You will see right here. Ah oh dang, there's a tree. Oh, you just scared the shit out of me, dude. <laughs> what are you doing? You scared the hell out of me. I don't want you getting in a trap, buddy. I thought a freaking wolf was gonna get me. What's up? Hey, what's up? You need to stay out of these traps, okay? That's not gonna be good, man. Well, that just changes things. You completely change things. I don't like you being here. Anyways, guys, look at this log here. Look at this tree. That tree, that tree. All the beaver activity is right here. They're here. So they're going to be swimming right past that trap. I mean, serious beaver activity. They about got that one. But you see there's no real good spots to set a trap here. 
So I'm in the spot I want to be. I know the beavers are climbing in out here, but I'm not going to put a trap and try to anchor it. It's all roots and stuff, so oh, that's just not good. I don't like seeing the dog here. There's no house nowhere even near here. Where you live at, amigo? Where's your home at? What are you doing out here? You're fat. You're fat. And you're a big son of a bitch. Where's your home? Well, you better stay out of my traps. You got a thing on you? No, you don't. Well, I hope you stay out of my traps, buddy.